Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing super well. I just want to start this video off saying thank you so much for all the lovely comments on last Sunday's video of the house. I hope you enjoyed it, I did seem to ramble on quite a lot, um, but yeah I really enjoyed filming that and showing you just around so I can't wait to do like in maybe like six months seven months i show you like an updated version which hopefully you should see uh, quite a big change so welcome back um and this is a day in a life uh with me today so i've got something really excited planned oh but i'm also very nervous uh, so it's my first ever trial of wedding dresses today um I'm not going to lie, I do feel really apprehensive about somebody pushing me into a dress. <laughs> um, I've got an idea of what I want, but the more people I speak to regarding wedding dresses, the more people I go, oh, you'll choose something that you'll think isn't you and you'll love it. And I'm like, yeah, that's great, but I've got a lot of insecurities um and just kind of think i know already what i want i want something very classy um i'll be 36 when i get married so like next year i'll be this time next year i'll be like ah. oh god um i'm just ready to be jack's wife if i'm honest um, I can't wait just to spend the rest of my life with him as his wife which is a bit soppy for a Thursday gloomy morning may I add it's absolutely chucking it down um, so I'm just currently getting ready I've just got out of the shower I've blow dried my hair I'm just about to put my face on um, and then I thought we'd head into town so my appointment isn't till 12 o'clock thought we might have a little look around Primark, see what's in. Um, our local Primark's not great yet. Um, I like to go to the bigger one, but unfortunately I just don't have time this morning. But yes, back to the wedding dress. Um, very elegant, classy. I want to look expensive. I want to look like put together. I don't want to look like mutton dressed as lamb. <laughs> so um, I don't really also know how I'm going to have my hair on the day. I've got a few ideas on Pinterest. Um, let me show you. But I am not that talented to do my hair for a trial to go and try on wedding dresses. But um, I'm just going to maybe do half up half down um curled i'm really liking i'm really liking that updo i think that's stunning hopefully you can see that okay um and then going into the night maybe having something maybe something like that where i can unpin it so it just looks a little bit different for the night time but like i say so i think if i have it like taken back off my face um it'll give me some kind of vision to how i'll look um so yeah so i hope you enjoy spending the day with me we'll have a little look in primark we'll go um and try on some wedding dresses i'll be honest with you right now at the moment, I'm like, I'll maybe take a picture of myself in a wedding gown. Not the one that I'll... Because Jack watches YouTube, I don't want him to see the dress that I'm going to pick. So I might like put a little clip of me in a wedding dress, but maybe not the one that I will be going for, if that makes sense. And I hope that's okay um, with you. Um, if there was a way just to stop him from seeing it then i would totally share that with you but i don't think there is it's there you have to let me know if there is um and then i've got a parcel to go and pick up so i've ordered oliver some little adidas oh what they're called gazelles and I, they're like little black and white ones because his feet are growing like mad they've gone from not growing 
to grow in non-stop so um yeah so i need to go and collect that um this morning i have done the nursery run done the primary school run and done the secondary school run i've come back i've had some breakfast and like and now i'm just gonna finish off getting ready so i hope you enjoy the day with me sit back relax get a nice drink if you want to um or just put me on the telly in the background and i hope you enjoy spending the day with me so that's the hair done makeup on um i've just put easy clothes on so this wasn't going to be my outfit of the day i actually had another outfit planned but this is england and it is chucking it down so i've just put this little jacket on because i've only got a bra on underneath it i've got nothing else i just want to be able to i was gonna say easy access what i mean in is um easy just to take off to put a gown on um i've also put on matching underwear <laughs> because i don't want anybody looking at me going tramp <laughs> who wears matching underwear every day do you i don't uh, anyway so outfit is just this jacket some leggings i'm going to shove my uggs on with some thick socks um i really should be going time is of the essence um i filled up my drink i've had breakfast haven't i yes i've had breakfast ah right so i'm just gonna now pack my bag quickly so i'm gonna take this one with me this is a harrods little leather bag we went to winter wonderland back in november i went into harrods and i thought how nice is that it's just perfect the strap is so long i haven't got it on the longest but it fits over the body really nice if you can see that so yeah so it's really easy to wear and you can take these little clips off and have it as just a little handbag so what's going in first the clip because we know that i am going to look like bloody winnie the witch as soon as i step out into that rain so we might have to go to Primark afterwards. So I've got my clip. Um, phone. Ooh, purse. Can't get the four. Do you know what? Sometimes I surprise myself with just how organized I'm getting as I'm getting older. Um, I am terrible for going to car park and having no change. So I've got change. Right, where did I put my bank card is it in my work bag yes so that's it lipstick i need some lipstick so let's let's, let's go i'm nervous excited um a little bit ugh, agitated because i just you know once i try that first dress on i'll be fine and then I'm all in an orange. Do I take cycling shorts or do you keep your leggings on? I don't know. I've got matching underwear. I've got leggings on, which are like super skin tight, aren't they? So should be able to slip over a dress easy. If they want me to take it off, I will. <sighs> I'm just going to be that kind of person. Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Even if I feel out of my comfort zone, I'm going to be a yes person today. I'm not saying no. So it's a couple of hours later, um, 
Oh my God, I'm so excited. It was the best experience that I think I could have ever wished for. And I'm slightly disappointed it was I was on my own, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, it's nothing like I expected. The women there were unbelievable. I was the only one in the shop. I got to look at every single kind of dress going. Um, and the vision that I wanted. So I've, I'll be honest with you. I definitely want to stick to the material that I've chose, that I wanted, because it is so flattering. Um, I even think I might have found my dress. Like. So let's rewind it back to why I was so nervous about going. So yeah. I'm not a size 10 and I think I assumed that every dress was going to be a size 10. Nothing was going to fit me. I was only going to be on selected so many amount of dresses um, and I was just going to feel fat, um, frumpy and that obviously that dread of going I've got to find a dress because I'm getting married to god I'm just gonna have to go with this and that wasn't the case so I wanted sleeves I was going in that shop wanting sleeves and I don't think I'm gonna have sleeves I could cry I'm not gonna cry but um god I got why am I getting upset I thought I was going to look awful. Oh my God, hang on. Let me just pull myself together. Um, yeah, I thought I was gonna look like frumpy and the dress that I put on, it cinched me in at the waist. Like I was looking at myself and I was giving myself compliments, which never happens. Um, and yeah, it was just incredible. And I don't know why I'm getting upset because it's, it's I think they're happy tears and they're, um, they're a bit of a relief. So yeah, so I had an incredible time and I can't wait. I've booked like a few other appointments with my bridesmaids and my mum. I think we're definitely gonna take wine though. They did ask me a glass of wine. I was like, I'm driving. You know, I actually took a Costa, <laughs> a Costa, uh, and then I've just picked this up on the way back. But yeah, and oh my God, the fact that I might have found my dress, honestly, the excitement and the warm feeling and the happiness that I feel inside, that I actually looked at myself and was like, God, you look stunning. Um. I feel like we're gonna have to leave that there because I didn't realize I was so emotional about it. But yeah, I, so if you've got any hesitation of going and you're thinking, I'm not gonna get married because I'm not exactly what I want to look like, or, oh God, I'm not gonna go for that kind of dress because just go, try on everything because I'm, I guarantee you will look incredible like the women there i were like is this a magic mirror <laughs> she was like no oh my god so yeah um yeah it was incredible and i cannot wait to go and show my mom because if she, if she cries then i'm gonna definitely cry um with happy tears so and we nipped into primark didn't we let's let's change the subject we nipped into primark our Primark is crap. <laughs> um, it's not great. So I only picked up a few little bits. Um, but I'll show you because we all like a little haul. I picked up this jumper, which I loved. Um, I've got it in a XL because um, I wanted it oversized. But it's got like button ups here. And it's a it's like a fleecy woolly fleecy isn't it yeah 
Um, and it's got pull strings here. 13 pounds. 13 quid. Well, I can whatever. Brilliant. Chuck on. Leggings. School run. Warm. Cosy. So I've got that. Not, and it's got pockets as well. Love that when I went in. Saw it. Many of these crossover bags. I like quite high up. Thought that was quite nice. I did see one in another shop. No, I didn't. I saw it online. But it was like 150 quid. And I was like, ooh, saving for the wedding tour. It was eight pounds. But if I do like it and I do wear it a lot, then I will maybe, maybe treat myself. No, I'm feeling so fabulous. Um, no, I don't. I feel good, but I don't feel fab. Um, but it has encouraged me to continue with my weight loss. Uh, but yeah, so this little bag, love it. It's got a little zip at the front. Um, and it goes across your body. Little bubbles. Can't go wrong with bubbles. Um, I've actually quite enjoyed wearing earrings just lately. So I thought they were rather nice. So yeah, I thought they were really nice, just to make yourself a little bit more put together. Um, and they were only £2.50. Um, and then I bought Amelia this. Whether or not she'll like it, I saw it, it's £2. I was like, even if she doesn't wear it, and she wants to keep it for like a fancy dress, she can do. But it's a little cat suit. It's a little cat suit. It's got this, um, like the sticky stuff at the top. Yeah. Two pounds. So yeah. And that's everything that I got. So now I'm gonna have a quick tidy round. Um, and then it'll be about time to do the school run. So I'm back from the school run and I tried on the Primark jacket. It's so nice. You need, need, need to get one, it's so cozy. Um, so I've just been and taken my makeup off, back into mum mode, hair up, earrings out, cause my ears were killing, so sore. Um, and that's the bag. I like the bag, for only, what was it, eight pounds? That looks really nice. So yeah, obviously I'm not gonna cut tea in it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now before I take uh, Darcy to gymnastics. Jacks don't get in until maybe about eight o'clock tonight. So it's just me and the kids. They're just watching telly. I'm gonna make tea. That katsu looks incredible on Amelia. Absolutely incredible. I'll see if she'll come down and uh, show you. But first, let's make tea because my trio is starving and we'll have a quick tidy round. I've just remembered, I thought, oh, this tea's gonna be like so simple, this, that, and the other. Oh, it isn't. Let me show you what I picked up from Marks and Spencer's when I did the food shop. Look at this. A side. So this is, um, is it? Oh no, the label's been took off. Well, what it's actually called, I can't even tell you what it's called. But basically, it's a really nice posh garlic bread. Um, it's frozen, so I'm gonna let it defrost for 15 minutes, it says, and then I'm gonna just stick it in the air fryer. I'm gonna serve it with this. It is quite a lot of calories. It is 1,595 to be precise, but that is split between four of us, um, and I have saved quite a few of my calories today to eat to enjoy this tonight um so yeah so we've got to that um it's, it's smelling absolutely delicious i'm just going to give it a quick stir reduce the heat um i just thought i'd mention that next week I'm going to do what I eat in a day calorie wise um, just because there's quite a few people that was on Instagram um, and they wanted 
me to vlog a what I eat in a day in a calorie deficit. Um, so I thought I would do it as a video here so then they can keep coming back, looking, do what I'm doing. I'm no expert, um, I've just changed things in my day to day life. Um, and next week as well, or maybe this weekend, um, I'm gonna start the Couch to 5K. So I did it years and years and years ago, um, but then life just become hectic as it does. Um, and then I just stopped doing it. And I really want to get back into running because do you know what I love about running? Is you're out in the fresh air, you can put your headphones on and you can just go in your own world and you don't even really think necessarily of anything. You're just in your own world um, and you just, and because I enjoy music so much, I feel like I forget that I'm running until I stop and then I feel like I'm dying. But at that time, I'm actually not too bad. Um, but this was me five years ago. I'm coming up to like 35 in May. So maybe, just maybe, I might find it a little bit more difficult, but I'm ready to introduce exercise into my, now I've got the food side sorted. Um, I now can bring in that exercise. I have been doing, um, it's called Get Fit with Rick. And what it is, is it's just steps. I'll see if I can tag a video of his down below, but that's helped me massively get my steps in every single day and it goes as exercise because obviously you're marching on the spot oh, I've just hit oh, I just hit my knee oh. um, so you march on the spot um, so you, you technically wouldn't walk that fast um, so it's classed as an exercise but it's a very low impact exercise um, and it's really helped like I say uh, today I've done oh nearly 10,000 steps so far but my daily step count now is 12,000 steps a day uh, but my exercise ring is half closed so that exercise is just me running around doing whatever I've been doing today probably stepping in and out of them wedding dresses because I'm telling you they were heavy you know really really heavy um, once they're on you you're absolutely fine but you know getting them on they're a ton bloody weight um, but yes anyway I'm going off on a tangent as usual but yes, yeah, so that is going to be next week's um, video, what I eat in a day in a calorie deficit. Um, and then I might record some of my Couch to 5K just to let you know how I'm getting on. So if that is something that you'd like to see, just let me know down below. Um, but yeah, so, right. Let's take Darcy to gymnastics. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. in spaghetti bolognese it was in his hair it was all over his body it was in his eyebrows it was everywhere so it went from zero to 60 very quickly so I had to get him in the bath wash him get him sorted and within that time we had to take Darcy to gymnastics and then when we went and picked just before we picked Darcy up he did the most enormous smelliest poo why do kids like time it so perfectly so all that went off and i kind of ate my dinner while i was stood up loading the dishwasher so that's just a little bit of um 
reality for you <laughs> but i just wanted to end this vlog now it's currently quarter past eight i'm absolutely shattered um i'm gonna take my I don't want to take this new jumper off but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna take this new um oh god i'm gonna take this jumper off um and then wash my face and then maybe put some netflix on and chill because i'm knackered it's been an emotional day and i wanted to apologize for getting so emotional um but it's such a big day you had in <clears throat> throat um yeah it's such a big day and you just want to get it right and the pressure and the build up and everything i think just got to me a little bit today i think i worked myself up too much so um but yes thank you so much for spending the day with me i hope it's not been too much here there and everywhere and i hope you've enjoyed it and i shall see you next sunday bye guys